see those mountains up there. Tomorrow, my challenge is to somehow hike it up there. Get up there, I've got no idea how high up they go. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. How much hiking experience have I got? Zero. I've done nothing before, apart from your standard national park walk. But have a look at it. Good morning. It is the day after, and as I said, we're gonna climb that mountain. Can't believe I'm actually doing it, considering I had a terrible sleep last night. I was at a hostel again, you know, save a bit of money here and there. But the dude under me snored all night. It was actually starting to become a thing in my dream. Like I was talking to people and I just started hearing this massive snore noise and I'd wake up. But anyway, I'm gonna get a coffee into me and then we'll get going. Can I please get a double espresso? Yes. Um, I'll have it here. Check it out. Thank you so much. This is like the best coffee I've found in the city and it's got the best views as well. There you go. That's okay, you can keep it. Yeah, is that good? That's all good, have a good day. <laughs> Let's go, Let's go hit this mountain. All right, I've got to focus on the actual video that we're doing, but check out this old building. It's like they started to build this, this um, probably accommodation on the water, and they gave up years ago. Awesome views, but there's just nothing happening here. Prime location. All right, this is going to be a fun one. I've got absolutely no idea whether it's going to be like a road or a hiking track or some form of path. I've got no idea. Absolutely no idea. I don't even know if it's possible. I mean, it should be. Will I end up hitchhiking to the top? I don't know. Is that cheating? Maybe. All right, I've made to the next beach over. But as I'm work, walking further, it's just getting further and further into the distance. When I was at the other beach, it looked like it was over there. Now it's up here. I haven't even got to the foot of it yet, so I've got to, I've got to somehow work out how to actually get there. So it appears we're getting closer, but I'm double thinking the challenge I've set. It's, it's fucking massive. Like, it's huge. I think what I'll do, I'm just gonna follow this road. Just follow it up. It might take me all day. Okay, my challenge for today is to get to the top of that mountain. Yeah, the very top. <laughs> is this gonna be possible? I want to climb it at the top. Do you think so or no? Um, Is there like a road or? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If you don't see me in the next uh, day, call the police. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I've reached this part in the road. So one road heads up. I just had a quick look on Google Maps. It's not looking promising. Um, the actual way it wants me to walk is five hours. But I feel like if I just cut through here somehow, I can get up there. So let's do it. Let's not get hit. How do I climb the mountain? I can get to it. I can do it. Follow the road. Thank you so much. 
all right just follow this road oh. Well, check it out. I am absolutely puffed out, but I finally feel like we're getting somewhere. Take a look at this. Whew. All right, I'm just gonna keep following this road. This road just led me to nowhere, except like someone's house. So we're literally just gonna cut through cut straight through I don't know about the wildlife here I mean there's random goats and horses and all that kind of stuff do they have snakes I don't know as I said I don't really know much about this place but I'm soon sure we'll soon find out this isn't good eh? I can't give up on this vlog now I've recorded too much so we're gonna make it happen Oh, check out the spider's nest. All right, I'm gonna get out of this part. Oh man, I've gone so far. I feel like, I feel like we're not even at the foot yet. We're getting closer, but it's just so thick here. There seems to be some like old kind of road here, but it kind of just goes to nothing. So I don't know if I want to follow that or just try to cut straight through. Oh, we found a road. All right, we're going to stick to the road. Oh, it's one of those windy ones. I know what it's going to be like. It's going to be like up, down, and then all the way up, up to here. This is like the biggest hike of my life, just putting it out there. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, gonna be sticking to the road a bit. There was far too many of these spider webs for my liking. I don't like spiders, especially when their webs are like huge and at the base of a tree with a hole, you don't know what's gonna climb out of there. Can anyone in the comments tell me what would live in here? Have a look at this. Look at this little cottage. Once upon a time, this guy or girl would have had the best views in Hamare. But who knows what happened? Why did they leave? Let's go. Let's go check it out. It's like nothing left of it. No roof. Does anyone know the history of this? Little fireplace. Amazing views. All right, I reckon maybe Two more hours, we can probably get up there. I feel like we're getting closer, but it's just, it's just so tall. Like it, it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh. You know what? I'm actually enjoying this. I can feel the endorphins, even though my entire back is just wet. I'm actually feeling really good, hey. Not even feeling exhausted, I'm just feeling just feeling good. Camping Vambolo. Two kilometers. We go to the camping Vambolo. I have no idea what a camping Vambolo is. But we're doing it while we're walking. I'll tell you a crazy story from a couple of nights ago. So I met up with a couple of mates from school, spent a few nights together, and we heard there was this awesome festival on a beach, but it was like a three day festival. So we went on the last night, we got over there pretty late. There was only like 60 people there. So 
we made the most of it but then it got to like 1 30 everything in the town was shut and there's just no taxis and in this country there's no ubers either so we didn't know what to do so someone was like you can just climb along the coast and down the down the rocks and it's only a couple of kilometers and you'll get there so we start doing it and we've got our like phone lights out and we're about a kilometer in and it was just so sketchy like going down all these rocks there's like this big drop into the water we're climbing up things there's trees in the way and we're like nah we're going back because we're pretty drunk as well so we've turned back and I found like this little place on the beach like a bar it was shut but we were so thirsty and I've gone up and I'm like hey man we need we need three waters and he's like sorry till it is shut till it is shut so he wouldn't serve me and I was like man we need them please here and I just gave him 500 so he goes out the back comes back with the three waters and a kitchen knife and I'm like all right what's going on here is he having a steak he wasn't but I guess I just scared him a bit because he's like what's this guy doing he's just rocked up at like 1 30 in the morning so I guess he had his guard up but he was nice so I just gave him the rest of the money we took the waters there's no issues we left we're walking the streets we're trying to get back and we met this guy he was too drunk to drive us back, but then he found his friend. This guy needs to be Albanian of the year, if that's an award like that. This guy drove us four and a half kilometers back. We're all trying to give him money. He's like, no, 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 respect, respect. He would not take our money. Drive us home safe. And that's what I'm saying about these people here. They are such amazing people. Then they don't want anything. Like they're happy to help you. I haven't had any problems here with any of the people. It's actually such a great country. People are lovely. If worse comes to worse, I'm going to be hanging off the back of the garbage truck on the way back, if there's any more. I don't know anything about this. I'm from Australia. This is like really far from me. Okay. But do you know how to get to the top of that mountain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep walking? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank I'll I'll do it, thank you. Hope you find your beach. <laughs> Here we go. Another bunker. And then one there as well. Let's have a look. Can anyone tell me why like half the water brands in our Albania have babies on them? Like all of them, it's weird. Thanks for the lift, mate, Jesus. Okay, not far now, but when we get to the top, I'm gonna set up the drone, the DJI Mini 2. Then we're going to fly it and have a look. But I just took it out yesterday. It's playing up, hey. The gimbal is just like really wobbly. So if the footage is average, I'm sorry. There's not much I can do. I did pull it apart this morning and try to fix it. But I've got to get it up there for a shot anyway. Oh man, we're so close. Look, it's just there. It's about 200 meters as the crow flies. But today, look at this wasp. Whoa, can you see that? That's huge. I might have to try to freeze frame that. But as I was saying, it's not as far as the crow flies or the wasp flies. It's how far I walk and it is a windy road. But we're nearly there. Oh, man, oh. I'm actually so proud of myself, hey. I just set the challenge when I was just down in the beach yesterday. I looked at it, didn't even know if I was gonna be able to do it, but I said I would anyway. <sighs> and we're so close. Oh. 
it's a good feeling. Mi Resavini, welcome to Pilor. So we're at the top of this road, but it seems to be winding down. Oh well, I didn't come all this way to not get to the very peak, so I've got to cut through this land here. And there it is. I'm proper, proper feeling exhausted. Hey, I really don't want to slip here because it's just all this like really sharp slate style rock. I just feel my body just giving out, but. As soon as I get to the top, bottle of water, drone, and I can be proud that I've ticked that off the list. Oh, I've had to take a rest up here. I'm right near the top, but my heart is going crazy. I've only got half a litre of water left. I don't know what I was thinking. And it's nearly 30 degrees. <sighs> oh, far out. I'm here. <sighs> Made it. The absolute peak of the mountain. Not that one. This one. Oh. oh, take a look at it. Oh, I feel so proud. Hey, that's a massive achievement. Let's see if we can get the drone up. Yeah, I'm actually really not happy with this drone, hey. Like, as I was saying before, look what it's just done to me. I could not land it. I was trying to land it back on that, that rock, and obviously it's all rocky here. Try to grab it in the air, and it just kept trying to take off. Um, finally got it, tried to turn it off, and it cut me. Um, better than a helicopter cutting me, so I'm sure I'm going to be okay, but yeah, the footage is crap. I bring this all the way from Australia to get some amazing footage and yesterday it was wobbly I tried to fix it this morning and now it's just all it's just all turned um, blurry okay I'm a very silly boy Ugh. this is not the way I came down I came down through someone's like property there and now I've got to come down through here somehow through this um, this uh, what sand and soil and whatever business they're gonna be, they're gonna be like who the fuck is this guy just walking through our yard? Obviously not in the Aussie accent, but you know what I mean. In Albanian, they could be good. They could offer me some water, some food, some raki, or they could bury me alive with all their plant equipment, and no one will ever see this. That's um, that's what makes it fun, but oh, oh look at this! I've just got to work my way through their their rubble and just like come out through their their business. Oh god! Oh, how am I meant to get down there? Oh my god! So here I am. Walking through someone's quarry, some random Australian guy in Albania, just rocking up out of the Rocky Mountains into a quarry. Do people have guns here? And if they did, is it like America where they just like shoot you, like get off my property kind of thing? Nah, I think they're nice. They're pretty nice here, aren't they?
Christian Dati. Uh, Hello, uh, me. Hey, I was in the mountains. Do you have any water I can buy? <laughs> Do you have any water? Bottles of water? That's all I got. I was in the in the mountains. Peter. Yeah, just like water. Water, water. Yeah, yeah. Water. Oui, oui. Water. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you some money. No money. I'll give you money. No money. <laughs> I ran out of water. Hello. Hello. Ako. Sorry, English only. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Did you want some money? Yeah? No, no money? No money, no money. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Oh, there we go. People here are great. I really needed this because I'm not going to make it back without it, hey? Oh. She smiled at me. <laughs> but yeah, back there, that must have been so random for them. I know you guys probably think I look so awkward sometimes, and it kind of is, because I know I know one word in Albanian. They probably know a few in English. Um, and they're like, what's he doing on my property anyway? But um, as you can see, lovely people. They've um, helped me get all the way down. Otherwise, yeah, I'm not gonna make it. I love my water, especially when it's like 30 degrees and you're hiking. Whew. That's where I'm staying, sort of the coastline down there, if you can see. I don't know how good this looks, but yeah. Down right on the beach. And I definitely need to go for a swim, wash up this helicopter accident injury. Oh, it'd be beautiful. I'm actually feeling pretty good again now. I was actually so exhausted up there. But um, yeah, I've got a second wind now. What's going on here? Hey, mate, you going to the bottom? Can I jump in? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Sweet man, thanks. Oh, here we go. Thanks man. I've been walking for way too long. <laughs> That's a massive walk. Oh, sorry. Hello, Mindera. Thanks, buddy. Hi. Hey. Oh. Oh, there we go. I don't know how I thought about doing that. I'm sure it was okay with it, but massive language barrier there. <laughs> You didn't understand anything I was saying, but yeah, it's only like a little walk now, and then we're there. 
Look at this. I met this guy, how many hours away? Like four and a half hours away yes. at the first hostel. Yes. And here he is. Hello, hello. <laughs> All the way how from Spain. Yes, from Spain, from that, Nepal. That is crazy. So what are you, are you climbing the mountains or? Yeah, I'm going somewhere else. I mean, finding a beach or I think that it's a nice beach after this mountain. So yeah. So just going with no plans. So just like that, we're pretty much back where we started. It's one beach over from where I was yesterday, but um, oh, it's just too nice not to jump in. Have a look at this. There she is. Oh, this is actually so well deserved. I don't have the um, waterproof stick today, so we won't be going underwater, but oh my God, that was a bit of a challenge and I'm really proud of it. So I think I'll leave the video there. See you in the next one.